Him to Love by Lascelles Abercrombie. Read for LibriVox.org by Ruth Golding. We are thine, O love, being in thee and made of thee, as thou, love, were the deep thought, and we the speech of the thought. Yea, spoken are we, thy fires of thought outspoken. But burned not through us thy imagining like fierce mood in a song caught. We were as clamoured words a fool may fling, loose words of meaning broken. For what more like the brainless speech of a fool, the lives travelling dark fears, and as a boy throws pebbles in a pool thrown down abysmal places? Hazardous are the stars. Yet is our birth and our journeying time theirs. As words of air, life makes of starry earth sweet soul-delighted faces. As voices are we in the worldly wind. The great wind of the world's fate is turned as air to a shapen sound to mind and marvellous desires. But not in the world as voices storm-shattered, not borne down by the wind's weight. The rushing time rings with our splendid word like darkness filled with fires. For love doth use us for a sound of song, and love's meaning our life wields, making our souls like syllables to throng his tunes of exultation. Down the blind speed of a fatal world we fly, as rain blown along earth's fields. Yet are we God-desiring liturgy, sung joys of adoration. Yea, made of chance and all a labouring strife, we go charged with a strong flame. For, as a language, love hath seized on life his burning heart to story. Yea, love, we are thine, the liturgy of thee, thy thought's golden and glad name, the mortal conscience of immortal glee, love's zeal in love's own glory. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.